Hello, welcome to Anjur Risa channel. In this video, I'll show you how to make this neat twisted headband perfectly. I use something different today instead of cotton. It's bullet fabric. This fabric has a beautiful texture. It's quite stretchy, but I would still put an elastic on the back of the headband. So we will make the elastic part first. Take the whole fabric, fold it in half, and sew this part. After this, turn the fabric right side out. I use a loop turner. Actually, this fabric is quite stretchy, so it makes the fabric turn right side out easily. Prepare an 8 inch elastic band. You can use any size for the elastic width, as long as it fits inside the fabric. So put the elastic band inside the fabric. If you love anything about headband, consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification. Feel free to check out my other videos and make your own headbands. Sew this part to hold the fabric. Put this elastic piece aside and prepare the fabric for the headband and some clips. We are going to finish the edge of fabric first. Fold the fabric just a little and fold it to the back. Pin it. Do the same all along the fabric. If you find my tutorial useful, please give me a thumbs up and share this video to your Facebook, Pinterest, or other social media. Your support would be really helpful to keep me making content. I'm going to sew this part with a serger. If you don't have a serger, you can use zigzag stitch. If you don't want to use a serger or zigzag stitch, you can just use straight stitch like I did here. Just fold the fabric once and sew along the fabric with regular stitch. You can see the nice look on the front side. Make two pieces of this and I'm going to sew a temporary stitch to make the perfect crease on the twist in front of the headband. Sew a temporary stitch right in the center of the fabric. You can see the perfect crease here. Oh, I really love the crease. I'll try my best to explain this in an easy way. Please pardon my English. Now cross the fabric. Pin the fabric with the raw edges together as we will finish this part. Sew the raw edges together. You can use zigzag, regular stitch, or a serger. As you can see, this is the part we just sewed. The reason I love to use serger is because it looks more professional, especially if you want to make a headband and sell for profit. But if you're making a headband for personal use, it's really fine to use a regular stitch. Now take off the temporary stitch. Take the elastic piece we made with the front sides together. Attach the elastic piece. Pin it. Always make sure the elastic piece isn't twisted. So do the same on the other side. Sew this one last time. Finally! Because this bullet fabric is quite thick, it's really thick. I use 16 slash 100 sewing needle. Cut off the excess fabric, turn it over, and our beautiful twisted headband is finished. Thanks for watching my tutorial. I'll see you next time.